Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem on volume of cube and cuboid. It says that a rectangular container 12 cm long, 8 cm wide and 36 cm high was one third full. Okay, one third full, which means that it had some fluid liquid in it until one third of its capacity. Okay, now when some syrup from a bottle was poured into the container, it got half full. Find the volume of syrup poured from the bottle into the container in milliliters. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have a rectangular container. Rectangular means a cuboid, something like this. I've drawn the outline. So the container has length as 12 centimeters, then its width is 8 centimeters and its height is 36 centimeters, which means from here to here is 36 centimeters. Okay, now it's one third full, which means that if the capacity of this container is divided into three parts, then one part is already occupied. Okay, so let's see if this is one, this is two, and this is three, then one third would be here so this is one third of the container and this is occupied okay so let's mark that let's drop some color into it to show that there is some syrup already existing in this container okay so let's see well let's just suppose that one third is here then this to this to this to here okay so this is occupied now let's also drop some color into it to show that this is occupied. Okay. Now, if one third of this is full, then what is this height or this depth over here? Well, it's one third of the height, which is 36 centimeters. So it's nothing but 12 centimeters, right? So this depth is equal to 12 centimeters. All right. So, what's next? Well, what's next is some syrup from a bottle was poured into the container and then the container got half full. So, say that there was a bottle, something like this, okay, and this bottle had some syrup in it. Let's color the syrup, okay? So, this is the syrup that's inside the bottle. Then, some of this syrup was poured into this container and that raised the level of the container to half full. Okay, so when some of this syrup from the bottle was poured into this container, its level got raised to half full. Okay, so let's draw that half full. Half full would mean until here. Right, this is half full. Let's paint it. Okay, so when this is half full, what can you tell about this depth? Well, this depth would be half of 36 centimeters, right? Half of 36 centimeters, and that's equal to 18 centimeters. So this depth, this mark over here is equal to 18 centimeters. Also, since some of the syrup was poured out of this bottle, maybe this bottle had this much syrup left. Okay, now what we have to find out is the volume of syrup that was poured from the bottle into the container in milliliters, which means that we have to find out how much this is equal to, okay, in milliliters, or in other words, what this is equal to, right? The amount of syrup that was poured from the bottle into the container, what is this equal to? Okay, so let's see that. Let's try to find out the answer. Okay, so let me make a model. And this model represents the volume of syrup inside the container, which means all of this, okay? This pink plus this pink. All right, so let's see. There was this much volume of syrup inside the container at first, okay? So this was existing. This was existing. And this is equal to how much? Well, it's equal to, its volume is equal to the length 
of the container times the breadth of the container times the depth until which it is filled, right? So this would be 12 centimeters times 8 centimeters times 12 centimeters. So this is equal to 12 centimeters times 8 centimeters times 12 centimeters. And that is equal to, let's see, 12 times 8 is 96, 96 times 12 let's see 96 times 12 is 12 times 6 is 72 2 and 7 12 times 9 is 108 plus 7 is 115 so its volume is equal to 1152 centimeter cube okay now next there was some syrup that was poured from the bottle into the container and that was this pink Right, so this is from the bottle. So from bottle. Okay, and this is what we have to find out. Now, do we know how much this is equal to the total? All of this, this dark pink plus this light pink? Yes, we do because we know how much this total height is. It's 18 centimeters and we know the breadth and we know the length. So from that, we can calculate the volume because the volume of a cuboid is its length, 12 centimeters, times its breadth, 8 centimeter, times its height or depth, which is 18 centimeters. And what is that equal to? Well, 12 times 8 is 96 and 96 times 18 is equal to 18 times 6 is 108. 10 carried over, 18 times 9 is 162 plus 10 is 172. So it's 1,728 centimeter cube. So from this, it's pretty simple to find out that this pink volume is 1,728 centimeter cube minus 1,152 centimeter cube, which is 6. Then this is 7 and this is 5. So it's 576 centimeter cube. So this question mark is 576 centimeter cube. But we have to find out the answer in milliliters. And we know that centimeter cube and milliliters are interchangeable. So this is 576 milliliters because one centimeter cube is equal to one milliliter. All right. So the amount of syrup that was poured from the bottle into the container is equal to 576 ml. And that's your answer. And that's also the end of this word problem. I hope you understood it. And I hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is Anne signing off for now. Bye.